10 small business tips for beginners creating a new small business is an exciting and scary proposition getting help and support is vital particularly at the start so we wanted to provide 10 tips for small businesses at the beginning of their journey so here is our list of 10 small business tips for beginners starting with doing your research tip 1 research before you begin you have a great business idea your enthusiasm level is high and are ready to get going we don't want to lose that momentum but before starting your own business you need to put in some background work starting with researching how unique the business idea is the reality is 99 percent of businesses that get created today have direct competition from day one that is not a problem but you do need to understand that competition and your sector before you go head first into creating your new small business who are the main competition and what messaging do they lead with this denotes what they are good at understand the pricing within the industry where is the competition located do you have the opportunity to make an impact locally or are you better going for a more national or even international approach what niches are being covered who are the other businesses appealing to as a target audience one big tip for anyone starting out for the first time with their business idea if at all possible pick a sector or target market that you have worked in before if you can achieve this people will already know and trust you and you will be well versed in how to navigate the market dynamics tip two find your niche most sectors are massive and to get your message heard and gain momentum you want to find a subsection commonly known as a niche let us explain with an example xyz creative services designs and develops websites they attempt to appeal to everyone and struggle to distinguish themselves from the other 1000 web design agencies the key to a good niche is finding a space small enough that the competition is low but big enough to sustain your small business also remember that over time you can expand into new areas once you have a reputation and testimonials a niche is superb at getting you started tip 3 define who you are what is your mission branding is not a concept most small businesses think about but it is more than just a logo or name it is the essence of what you stand for do you exist to provide the best quality in your chosen field is your goal to be a supporter of local businesses do you simply aim to be the cheapest option these are the types of questions you should be asking yourself leading to understanding your mission a mission statement is about the purpose of your business what it aims to achieve if your goal is to grow to include multiple staff it will help them understand the business but if your initial ambition is to be self-employed then the mission will be about your goals tip 4 set goals if you don't understand your destination then your journey will have no direction at the beginning of your journey towards creating your new small business you need to have goals the things you want to achieve these will be a combination of short term and long term starting with the overall goals and working backwards you'll set your goals for the next couple of years then work out the smaller goals that will help you achieve that now it's time to get very practical any business regardless of size needs a business plan this might be needed to raise startup funds get a small business loan or just to give yourself focus on what you can afford to spend once created it allows you to plan changes as the business and the business structure evolves many of the factors we have covered in tips 1 4 should be added to your business plan for example what are your goals the competitor landscape and niche you will be targeting business financial planning another key component will be growth planning so build yourself a financial plan assess all the fixed costs involved in creating and running the business then start to factor in variable costs related directly to running the service product building this into a plan can help you avoid forgetting those hidden startup costs this will show you what break-even points you have what money you have left for things like marketing and sales and use the information to plan going forward with a business plan in place you'll understand what capital you have to invest and also the return needed to justify the spend accountability your business plan becomes a permanent record of what you are looking to achieve and helps maintain focus whenever you start a new business many factors can become a distraction so having a good solid business plan to consistently revert to is vital for staying on track tip six articulate what makes you special we have a plan and it's almost time to go out into the wild and start talking to people but before you do make sure you can articulate what makes you stand out from the crowd why someone should choose you very few businesses are truly unique in the modern world but find a combination of things that when grouped make you different from the rest it might be the niche that you target the way you support the product it could be your pricing model maybe it's a combination of all of them or 10 other things your message and how you explain it has to be succinct and powerful.
The concept of the elevator pitch was created at a time when attention spans were greater. In modern society, you have even less time to get your point across. This might be face to face, during a webinar or within three seconds of someone seeing a post on Facebook. Start by listing out all the things that mean you are special. Next, combine the key elements to highlight uniqueness. Finally, learn to explain these points within the realms of what you do. The prospect needs to understand what you do and why they would choose you over everyone else. Tip 7. Network like a master. As a small business owner, you are the best salesman, the point of contact with the customer and the person that people complain to. As you grow this can evolve but when you start your business no one will understand it like you or convince prospects to buy from you and customers to remain with you. The most cost-effective way to achieve this is networking. You need to make yourself part of the community and become someone trusted in your sector. The old adage is true, people buy from people and the best way to meet people is networking. Which one is right for your business will depend entirely on service, product and the sector you operate in. 1. Local community groups There are so many options for networking in person locally that we wrote an entire article about it. 2. There are Facebook groups for almost any subject. 3. The world's largest networking platform. If your target customers utilize LinkedIn, then this is a great place to connect, engage and sell to potential customers. 4. Forums from large platforms like Reddit through to niche forums for individual sectors. They exist for people to share ideas and problems. 5. Every industry has its bodies and networking groups that meet regularly and host larger events where vendors, suppliers meet with customers. Networking is about listening and participating, don't just arrive expecting to sell. Tip 8. Effective marketing. Marketing is an area many small business owners are uncomfortable with, but with a little planning and covering the basics, it doesn't have to be that scary. Know your customer. You must recognize that not everyone can be your customer. If you attempt to market to everyone, then you'll do an average job. If you market just to target customers, then you'll do an amazing, focused job. To truly understand your customer as well as a best friend, you need to get into their minds and sympathize with the pains they have, understand their core needs, celebrate their desires and respect their purchase drivers. If you combine this information with basic demographic information like the male-female split, age range, income and family status, you have a rounded view of them. Going forward all your marketing should be geared towards these target customers. Once you understand your customer, the next step is identifying what channels to reach them in. It doesn't matter which routes to market you prefer, only which ones your customer uses. When you worked on your ideal customer, chances are you had two four different customer types. Assess them and find the common channels, allowing you to achieve efficiency by only spending time on a few channels. What do you say to your customers? You need to understand what major topics you should be covering in your marketing and then look at ways to generate lots of content about them. The biggest mistake small businesses make is talking about what they do all the time. Focus on the things that the customers want to read about and eventually, you'll be able to transition the conversation towards your product once you've built rapport with the customers. The most efficient marketing approach is to create one large piece of content, for example a long blog article, and include a variety of elements like a quote, a list and some good images. These elements can then be converted to smaller pieces of digital marketing to be used in the channels of choice. For example, if your customer uses Instagram, then you can show off some of the images and link to the master article or maybe build an inspirational post with the quote. Again, the goal is to do the work once and then be able to recycle the information over many weeks, saving you a lot of time and effort. Tip 9. Technology and automation are your friends. As a small business owner, you always need to be conscious of the limited time you have. Where possible you need to find solutions that cost little but save money and time by automating your processes. This is where technology is your friend. Financial software. Start by putting in place invoicing software that will automate most of the process, update your clients automatically and give access to the right people at the right time. You can get a free account with Hivage to get going today. Marketing automation. This is the ability to trigger communications based on people's actions. For example, an email welcome program when someone registers on the website. Customer service. Chatbots are a good example of using technology to handle the initial customer queries and filter down the ones that land with you. Task management. This could be something as simple as online notes or a more complex solution like Trello. One key advantage of all these platforms is they can be accessed through any device, from your work PC through to your phone. 